Hello everyone. Exercise 1.4, question number 11. Again, this is the same question as question number 10. In which, in that case, we have to write it in the ascending order and here we have to write it in the descending order. But again, either we take the approximate value of 2 under root, root 2, root 3 or root 5 or I told you as in the last case that this can also be converted into under roots. So how I can write this? 9 can be written as under root of 81 upon under root of 2. So under root of x upon under root of y can be written as under root of x upon y. So this is under root of 81 upon 2 or this is under root of 40.5. If in case we talk about this, this is 9 and this is 4 in under roots. So this complete can be written as under root of 9 into 5 upon under root of 4 which can further be written as under root of 45 upon 4. If I solve it, it is under root of 11.25. 4 root 3 can be written as under root of 48 because 4 can be written as under root of 16, under root of 16 multiplied by under root of 3 is equal to under root of 48. This is again this 3 can be taken inside so it will be 9. So under root of 9 into 6 upon 5. If we solve it, it is under root of 54 upon 5 which can be written as under root of 10.8. Now as we have converted every number into irrational number or we have written it in the format of under roots, we know that a smaller number under root will be smaller and greater number under root will be greater. Here the largest number is this. So this will be the first one. Then comes this. This is the second one. Then comes this. This is the third number. And this is the smallest number or the fourth number. If we want to write in the descending order, this is the fourth, this is second, this is third and this is fourth. Again, if you look at this, we are very clear that any negative number is always, always the smallest one if we compare it with a positive number. The remaining numbers can be written in the same format. This can be written as under root of 25 upon 3, which can further be written as under root of 8.33 approximately. This is 49 into 2, that is under root of 98 upon 9. And this is approximately under root of 10.9. This already I have written under root of minus 3. 3 root 5 can be written as under root of 9 into 5 which is under root of 45. And 2 root 7 is again under root of 4 into 7 which is under root of 28. Out of these numbers, it is very clear that a larger number will have a larger under root and a smaller number will have a smaller under root. So this number is the largest one. This is the first one, then comes this, second, then comes this, third, this is the fourth one and this is the smallest. If I write it in descending order, so 3 root 5 is the largest one, then it comes 2 root 7, then comes 7 upon 3 root 2, then comes 5 upon root 3 and the smallest number is definitely the negative one that is minus root 3. So there are two ways. One is this, one is finding the approximation and then solve it. Question number 12 is arrange the following numbers in ascending order. Now this is actually 2 to the power 1 upon 3. And this is 3 to the power 1 upon 2. And this is 5 to the power 1 upon 6. Now, when we have to compare these numbers, it is not possible for us to find out the approximations even. So it is better that the denominators are 3, 2 and 6. If we talk about the LCM of 3, 2 and 6, that is 12. So if in case I do the power 12 of the first case, do the power 12 in the second case and do the power 12 in the third case. Definitely a smaller number will have a smaller power, smaller value and the greater number will have greater value. This can be cancelled out. This can be written as 2 to the power 4 which is actually 16. Again this can be cancelled out. It can be written as 3 to the power 6 which is after solving as 729. 
this is again cancelled out. It is 5 to the power 2, which is 25. Now it is very clear that which one of number is smaller and which is greater. When we have to write it in the ascending order, so this is the smallest one, then this, and this is the last value. So it is cube root of 2, then comes under root of 3, and then comes sixth root of 5. This is the in the ascending format we have written the numbers. So I think that in the schools generally we follow this procedure and not the procedure of approximation that is very very important in competitive exams but otherwise we can solve in both the cases.